uh, to the forward cabin. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can't get in there. We are a retired couple who sold everything and bought a boat with the intention of living the dream in our 30 years. So it's a beautiful January morning. Cold, clear skies, not a cloud. Perfect to do a little bit of drone flying. So today we're going to start uh, putting the coverings on. Um, I was hoping to get a bit of help from Janet, but she's decided to go shopping instead. Um, never showed you the front cabin, how it is at the moment. Walk through to the cabin, uh, to the forward cabin. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can't get in there. Um, so that's where we've stored all the soft furnishings. We've just put the table back up. Uh, that's to enable me to have a firm base to cut on, that's all. Uh, we'll end up having to take it back down shortly. So where we're going to start covering today is this side down here. Um, and I'm going to have to do it all in one. So I need to get a full measurement of that. Uh, what we're going to do is bring it up to here because there is wood trim that comes across underneath the windows and up there. We will cover behind and then we'll just put a piece in across the top there as well just to make sure that everything's covered and hidden. But that is one long piece which will have to come off in one. Uh, and I've also got the issue of up and underneath this area here as well so that board will have to come down again um, there's wood facing there to come off uh, so yeah there's a little bit of uh, work to do disassembly wise to get in there uh, again that will have to come off as a separate piece I think looking at that so this is the uh, covering that's going on that, that face there and I think I've got plenty of glue 
Um, it's quite a mass. So the first problem is actually being able to get this laid out and cut. Uh, I can't remember how much we bought now. <laughs> Get a jam on there to measure down here. That didn't work. So we'll try and get a measurement down here to that edge plus a bit right so that's that's 3.2 meters in total to there with a little bit of overlap problem it is always when you're working on a boat is you've got nowhere to do long lengths so uh, this isn't ideal but the way they've folded this I can cut piece straight off there turn it over get the same and so long as I keep it fairly level given that I'm leaving myself a little bit of space um, a bit of overlaps I'll be able to just unwind it to get me uh, 3.2 meter length and so some nice long shears I'm just gonna eye could be an expensive cut. <laughs> it's about a hundred pounds worth of uh, covering here. And so there we go. I wanted 3.6. I'm just beyond. Um, so I'll cut that at that. And that gives me some scope. So that was uh, not bad. go from here and along to that end be nice to test it but I can't because I'm on my own again um, yeah. so what I'm gonna have to do is do this in sections uh, so we can start, I can put a bit of adhesive up here, I can get that in there and then start working it, working it along I think to this point where I'll have to make a trim possibly, uh, yes and then Carry on down that side. Down and ready to ride. So we've got the first section, first bit done. That's always the hardest. Um, I will carry on now. It's just a matter of making sure that's blend it in so there's wood trim to go all the way down here and up here uh, 
just got to cut into there, take a trim out of here. Uh, there's a light to go in up under there. So, yeah, a little bit of cleaning up to do from glue, and I'll carry on with that. So, pretty pleased with that. So Jenna and I have done quite a bit of work this morning. We didn't video any of it because uh, all you'd be seeing was our backs and much grumbling. Um, we've done all of that side there. And we've done this back wall here. Managed to get with a four-way stretch felt this to go in in one piece, which is fantastic. And the same on there. So we've got that curve in, all in one bit. Uh, what I've had to do is I've taken the uh, companion way aluminium frame off so we could get right in here. And uh, the next task is to clean that up and put some sicker flex in and put the frame back together. We're both a little bit woo from uh, the glue. Um, I've let it air for a while uh, before I've come back in. So a bit of a slow job. <laughs> now I'm just cleaning off the old silicon. It is silicon. It's had a bit of mastic or something put around it. Um, I think the silicon is original because I don't think this has ever been off. Um, certainly when the boat was painted they never took this off. So, and I think they've just put a bit of extra mastic of some description just to reseal it. But, but I'll use some white Sikaflex on this. It shouldn't need much to seal. <laughs> 